Welcome, my name is Vivo V50 Lite and today I will show you how you can go to the setup process of this device. So to get started find your desired language right here from this list and then click on start. Next choose your location, I recommend locations that are actually based in European Union as this will give you better consumer rights. Um, next we have agreement uh, and terms. So you can tap on learn more to read the end user license agreement but at the end of the day you will probably check the box like I do without ever reading a single word in it and then click on next. Uh, set up using the device allows you to basically import things like contacts, applications um, and so on from your old phone to this one I believe using only Google account. I'll be skipping this as I am setting it up manually. Next we have connect to Wi-Fi, this step is completely optional, you can sign into Wi-Fi network if you want to or you can skip this if you don't. Now because I haven't inserted SIM card nor have I connected to a network, uh, I won't be able to sign into Google account throughout the setup process, restore apps and data, get software updates and have the date and time set automatically. This only extends to the setup throughout the setup and after it's finished I can go to the settings and change all of that. Next we have uh, set lock screen method or unlock method which uh, gives me option of uh, screen lock which is pin pattern or password and then two different biometrics of fingerprint and face recognition. When setting up biometrics you will always be required to select a physical way of unlocking the device as biometrics aren't 100% reliable and in times where they both fail you at the same time uh, you would be left with unlocking the device uh, with for instance pin pattern or password which never fails if you put it in correctly unlike for instance fingerprint. Uh, I'll be skipping this, uh, I'm not going to be protecting this device right now, but I highly recommend you do so. Next we have Google services like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but I believe it's more like a general um, request for you f to Google from you to not gather data and Google being like, haha, sucks to suck, loser. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. Uh, the reason I kind of can see this as, so, as such is because if that wouldn't be the case, well then corporations like Google wouldn't be in antitrust lawsuits and other lawsuits in general, right? If they did what they say they're doing, we wouldn't have problems now, would we? Next we have keep, your, uh, keep the system updated. So if you select next, it's just going to update it overnight. If you select install manually, you'd need to check for updates and settings and then agree to install them. Send user and diagnostic data. Now this is now for Vivo, not for Google. Uh, service recommendations. Uh, I don't like anything that asks for recommendations, so I'm just gonna ignore this and select next. And then we have select system navigation. This is completely up to you. I like gestures, so that's what I'm gonna choose. And this finishes up the setup, so there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.